Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're joining Bulldozer Power in the Super Mega Baseball League here at the end of the season, the final one. Here we are, there it is, off we go, up we come, down the depot, all of that kind of business. Uh, yeah, it is uh, the World Series final uh, where Bulldozer Power are taking on 
the beekeepers in game three and uh game three is is where we're at i thought we'd start with the old with the old team photo here because uh it's the last time we're going to see them in this in this lineup and uh, and in this uniform as well. Uniform changes coming in the off season. Oh dear! Yeah, I know we've we've got a brand new we've got a brand new uniform scheme coming up, and the league is going to be expanding as well. If you are uh, if you're in the fail brigade, uh, you can you can head to the Electro Sports channel and maybe become part of the history or the future history of the history of the future. Uh, before we go any further, though, I asked you to send me predictions as to the final result. Uh, so uh, we're playing uh, we're playing the beekeepers. They're a tough team. Uh, if we uh, hold on, if I click in the right place, I've moved the mouse and the keyboard out of the way. When I record these, I, I move the mouse and the keyboard out of the way because uh, I, I'm playing on a I'm playing on a widget. You see, so uh, so we've got to we've got to be careful about such things. Um, and uh, and there we go. So uh, Kelsey's saying Dozers win eight to six. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Alfred uh, has gone with a thirteen to seven BDP win. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing that. Uh, Arjun reckons it's going to be two to one. A, a low a low scorer. Uh, Phillips going for a nine seven in favour of uh, of BDP with a with a Mister on home run in there somewhere. Uh, Vectrix reckons 21 to 5 in favour of the beekeepers. Oh no, sorry, beg your pardon, in favour of BDP. You're all thinking that BDP are going to win. You, you mad people. Uh, Adam thinks that it will be uh, 13 to 8. Uh, Mighty Booth is going uh, for a uh, for an 8 to 7 uh, bulldozer victory. Danny thinks it will be 13 to 10, 7 to 5 from Stoney. Uh, nine to four from Bo Hansen there. A uh, five to four BDP Mister on walk off home run. Interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. Beekeeper seven nothing says Gareth. Gareth not a believer. Uh, Jerry reckons five to nothing. Uh, Rick says nine to six. I think the odds that we give up no runs at all. It's just not going to happen. Uh, Chris reckons thirteen to five. Uh, Norman is on eight to five. Uh, Philip uh, Patrick, beg, beg your pardon, Patrick. Uh, five to four, but he reckons it will go to eleven innings. Nice. Uh, Victor uh, BDP thirteen to nine. JTN thinks eight to seven in ten innings with Cattle Prod getting the RBI to end it. Uh, Crampods hits a walk off. Says Slow Snowman. Uh, I I can't see it. Uh, Toothless Wonder thinks seven to nothing in favour of BDP. No, 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 no. It's, we won't. We're going to concede runs. We always concede runs. Uh, nine to eight BDP in a twelfth. Uh, eight to four BDP. Five to four. Five to three. Seven to five in favour of the beekeepers. Uh, seven to three uh, with two Teflon home runs uh, to the beekeepers. Yeah, you see, that's the kind of thing I'm worried about. Sargon of Cincinnati reckons that it's going to be sixteen to twelve. Well, let's have a look. Uh, there is no, no, there is no super chats on this channel. Um, uh, with. This is an unmonetized channel, you know. Yeah, no, I I do it here just for the love of it. I've got to pass a thousand viewers. Uh, the four the four thousand hours you have to get to done that, uh, but the uh, the thousand hours that's uh, the thousand uh, subscribers we'll get there. It's fine. Don't, I'm I'm not in any hurry. Uh, right. Okay. So let's have a look at the lineup. Uh, failure is is moods off. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm moving him. He's uh, he can he can go down the batting order. Uh, it can go, drop down to uh, to clean up just before uh, the pitcher. We'll move Kojak up since she's in good form. Hopefully, she manages to keep that keep that up. The one two of Cindy Vapp and Kojak Mistron could be an interesting one. Uh, Paper Event Horizon is in uh, is in good shape. I'm going to move him as well. Uh, we, you can bat ahead of Hatchet. Furious SpongeBob had a good game last week, but uh, yeah, he didn't see it. Steve Murray, however, he's he's in a bad mood and he's not fully fit. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, we hate him, but he's playing. Hardware is in. Steve Murray is out for this one. Um, that's just... It's it's not it's not good. It's not what we wanted to see. It's it's not what. It, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, we're going to put Julie Hardware just for failure. Sponge bath in there as well. This is an interesting move. Uh, Malibu potentially a weak link in the middle of the pack there, but I think it it could work in our favour. 
Uh, we're going to leave. Uh, we're going to leave crampons on the bench because uh, his fielding isn't up to much. I mean, Hatchet's fielding isn't up to much, but uh, but it's better than crampons. Uh, and we're we're supposed to be starting uh, Vivian Crumble. Yeah, let's have a look and uh, and see what uh, what we're looking at. Des eyeliner is not fit. I I can't, in all honesty, put put Des eyeliner in. I can't do it. Just can't be done. Uh, Bubbly merchandise is fit. Uh, she's uh, she's a better pitcher. Yeah. All right. Merchandise is in. Crumble is out. Uh, which means we won't be seeing Crumble today. Um, meanwhile, Jeff Conservative, not 100%. Mark Disneyland, though, is fit to play, thankfully. Uh, Tulip Banter is fit to play. We've got two relievers, and then the prod is looking amazing. Uh, he's ready to go there in uh, the, as, a, uh, as a final put-down. Uh, and uh, and I, think, I, think we're in, uh, I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape. All right, I'll get an innings out of Des Eyeliner, but only if I put him on in the first inning. It's not; it's just not a good idea. Then I can't use any other starters. They take a morale hit if you uh, if you put a starter in as a reliever. They just can't do it. I'm going to play bubbly merchandise, and we'll we'll see how we go. Uh, let's get to the ball game. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we're playing from Colonial Plaza, so we are at home. <laughs> this one decides the championship. It's. Uh, it's a biggie. Uh, they've, they've got savvy Cromulent pitching for them, and uh, that Cromulent is not looking like they're in the best of form. Uh, I've no idea what the rest of their depth chart's going to look like uh, as far as uh, as far as pitching. Bullpen. Sorry, I've, been, I've got football on the brain at the moment. Uh, the rest of the bullpen, no idea what that's going to look like. Uh, let's bring the microphone in for some... I apologise for the creaking. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's it. All right. Okay. Now back, the third baseman, number 28. So Ivor Wing, uh, Igor Wingnut. I don't think we've seen him. I don't think we've. I don't think we've faced. Maybe we faced Wingnut in the first. He's uh, he's had a go at the first one. Uh, Kojak is right there. One pitch, one out. <laughs> Good. His uh, fromage demijohn, and uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's 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 come to play ball. Well, that's. Let's see how much he's come to play ball. Ball one. Bubbles there with something a little bit on the uh, on the slicey side. That one's gone a big a big long way. Zoltan is uh, having a go for it. He's out as well. Well, this is incredible efficiency. Just incredible efficiency. A Daphne Teflon uh, has, has been lighting us up throughout this series. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, she probably will do again today, actually, if anyone was going to get a hit. It would be Teflon, but not now. Four pitches, three outs. Bulldozer Power came to play, and uh, that's fortunate because we just did. So uh, we will, it, it will be uh, Cindy Vapid to lead the way. She's got two home runs during the playoffs. Uh, she's uh, she's had a, had a good run of form of late, and uh, she's she's going to hopefully hopefully keep that up. Uh, Cromulan is a decent pitcher. When his, uh, when his mood's right. And it's not right today. We get a walk. Uh, can I please move my head to the top left? I'll do it between uh, between innings. I can't see it. That, is that going to be any different? Uh, not sure. Anyway, here's, uh, here's Kojak. I'm going to try and keep my head in the game here. Uh, here's Kojak. And uh, a good hit from Kojak there. And that's now runners first and second. And uh, it's uh, it's looking it's looking good so far. Here's uh, is Zoltan. We've not had a big Zoltan game in a little while. We'll see how we get on. Strike one. And if you say so, ref. I mean that was a bit of a no 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 no. no. It could be bad. Oh, a moment of indecision there. Almost cost them the uh, the extra base, but we've now got runners on two and three. Zoltan couldn't really get much on that one. Uh, so he's gone. Uh, his people have entered Horizon, waiting for a waiting for a decent pitch or something resembling a decent pitch. And that's uh, that's ball one now. That one's uh, up top, top sides. That, oh, hey! I I should have, could have, might have, but didn't. 
No. Not this time. Steal home. I mean, that's, that's bold. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the walk that loads up the bases. Cool. All right, hang on. I can, I can fix that. Uh, let's do that and then back here. All right, am I in? Yeah, I'm in. Right. Okay, it is Hatchet Malibu that we're relying on not to get everyone out. And uh, that's ball one. It was a nice pitch. It was a nice pitch, but that's strike two now. All right, two balls, two strikes. Base is loaded, ball of power. Full count for Hatchet Malibu. That one's in the dirt, and they've walked us our first run. Thank you very much. All right, we did not come out here for nothing. Here's Furious Sponge Bath. Bases are still loaded. It goes for the first one, and it's a dropped catch. But is it too late? Ah, it's out number two. But we did get a run off it. The runner was indecisive there. Couldn't decide whether to go back or forwards. And uh, and made the wrong made the wrong choice in being stalled out there. And here's Julie Hardware. Uh, runner's now at the corners. And Hardware is our uh, our last opportunity here. I, that's the second time they've done that. Cromulent is a right mess. Uh, ball two. That was, that was a decent enough pitch, but uh, Julie didn't want it. Oh, Julie not biting on that one. Uh, but opening with two runs, not bad at all. No, that's out. And Hardware retires the side. Uh, but Bulldozer Power come away with uh, with two runs at the end of the first inning. And uh, and it's all looking pretty solid. It's all, it's all looking good. And... Uh, there we go. Right, we'll take a, we'll take a moment here for some camera action. I mean, if I'm going to do this live, we might as well have some camera action going on. We'll uh, we'll slide yours truly up over here. <laughs> yeah, do we reckon I'll be a uh, unobtrusive over here. Yeah, yeah. Is that the best place for me? Do you think? Yeah. Where do we do we reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Do we reckon that's uh, that's gone? Yeah, yeah. I dis I turned I turned the camera off. You see, that's that's what I did. Yeah, I know. I, that was intentional. You're 30 seconds behind. Um, yeah, I, d I just moved it out of the way to get the innings done, uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll then we'll be in. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. All right, we're now we're now up top sides. There you go. That's it. And uh, everybody should now be catching up eventually. This 30 second time lag is an absolute killer. I tell you. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's get back to the game. Right. Okay. His uh, his former. Uh, bulldozer power player Shamrock Bubble Jets. He's not done much against us so far, but uh, anything, anytime, he could become uh, he could become a threat. So we've got to try and maintain the level of efficiency we had in our first uh, our first defensive inning, uh, and uh, and see if we can we can hold us together here in the uh, in the second. All right, it's two uh, it's one strike and uh, two balls. All right, come on, Bubbles. Now, Bubbles does have a tendency to be a little bit uh, overzealous in the cleverness of pitching department. Ball three. All right, okay, try him on one of these. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll give it a go. That's, uh, that's gone up there. That's uh, landed in his popcorn. All right, just chuck a, chuck a one of them down the middle. All right, Kojak. And eventually we get him, and that's out number one. Uh, so uh, so that's that's all solidly good, and uh, just uh, moving moving into the next game, the, the next batter. That's Sammy Vacuum, another player we haven't seen, or if we have, I didn't notice. So uh, so the beekeepers have made a couple of changes to the lineup in this one. Catch it, as the ball, and that's out number two. It's all good. All right, here we go. Yeah. And next up, it's uh, it's Lamar night shift, and uh, well, I mean, Bubbles is pitching pretty well so far, uh, but this can all change. We've only got a two-run cushion, but so far it is looking like a BDP kind of a day. If that's not too early, it's to cool, and that's a strikeout. Yeah, get off my field, punk, uh, and that's two innings with nothing doing for the beekeepers so far. BDP. Okay, up two. Here's failure. Failure needs to get a hit or two uh, in order to restore his confidence, because uh, it's waning right now, and he's he's been a bit of a disappointment. 
Uh, but he's down the bottom end of the order for precisely that reason. Well, I say that. He's got himself out again. What a clown. Uh, okay, right. Well, here's Bubbles. Bubbles, straightforward mission here. Soak up as many pitches as you can until you've got a pair of strikes. And then go for your life. Yep. Strike two. All right, Bubbly's now live. Well, she's dribbled one out at first, and uh, we weren't really expecting any more from her than that. And she's gone. Cindy Vapid, last up. Got a walk from her first at bat. Uh, has, she, has she got anything else for us today? Strike one. Nope, nothing. Cindy's gone. Well, that was, that was a quick inning. Well, this, this is all looking like being pretty quick so far. Uh, at the end of two, it is uh, two to nothing in favour of BDP. Uh, but that's the score the right way around. Here's zero heat. We saw her for the first time, I believe, in the last game. Uh, but uh, I don't recall her having done it. I, I'll be honest. I can't remember. I, I genuinely have no idea if any of these people were any good or not. I thought that was a nice pitch. I'll be honest, Ump. Uh, I, I thought that was... Uh, that one's not. Sorry, right, you can call that one. All right, try one of these. That one's popped up. Kojak's looking for it. And one away. Okay. All right. Here we go. It's, uh, Vlad Soissonset is, uh, is next up. And uh, he had a home run uh, in a previous game. And that one's, that one's not looking too tasty. Failure is in the zone. That one's gone too. They're not managing to get enough power on these to do any damage. Here is their pitcher. Well, I mean, it's, it's tempting to, uh, to eviscerate him with a ball, but we won't. Strike one there. Hardware can't keep hold of what it was, a relatively simple catch. If it's a strike, hardware, you have to catch it. Yeah? Don't make me regret... I'm already regretting putting you in instead of, Cram instead of uh, Steve Mori. But, you know. There we go. And another strikeout. We're all good. All right. Okay. We still have yet to give up a hit. Uh, Bubbly Merchandise is doing a fantastic job at, at the mound. Uh, we're back round to Kojak Mistron. She got a single off her last at bat. And uh, we'll wait and see if she can do any better than that this time around. So, I mean, a single's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, nothing wrong with a single. Uh, but, uh, we'll see if, there's, uh, see if there's anything more to come. Not the best hit there from Kojak, and she's gone. But it's uh, it's all right. Is uh, is Zoltan? He managed only weak source with his first at bat. Uh, we'll hope that he can he can do a little bit more than that this time around. It wasn't so long ago we were talking about Zoltan in terms of having an unrealistic batting average, uh, and it's it's starting to drift back towards realism. And Zoltan gets a walk. I don't know how much longer they're going to keep Cromulent in. You know, he's. Unless their bullpen is incredibly thin. No, there it is. There we go. It's Olympia Swiss Lagoon, who is one of their best pitchers. And uh, and she's coming in. And she's in a very, very fine mood as well. Uh, Cromulent was, was playing hurt. Oh, poor baby. All right. They brought in a good player. All right. Okay. How good? Well, obviously, you know, there's uh, there are limits. Are oh, there? Yes, look at it. That was a limit there. Oh, well done. You managed to find a strike zone. Congratulations. It is, of course, Papal Event Horizon currently uh, currently at bat. And if, uh, if there were any kind of a pitch coming his way, these would be the pitches. Swings at a high one. Well, we haven't done one of those yet today, so I suppose it's a novelty. Uh, but that novelty uh, wears off all too quickly. Uh, here's Hatchet Malibu. She got a walk with a run batted in off the back of it uh, last time. Swings at the first one and gets a base hit. Malibu there, doing well. Uh, judging that pitch correctly and uh, and making the uh, the interesting business uh, from that. Here's the Spongy. And uh, he, had, he didn't get a hit last time around. He got himself out like some kind of rookie. That one, however, gone straight up the middle. We're going for it all. It's close and it's in. Okay, that takes uh, three runs now for Bulldozer Power. 
good times. Uh, here's, uh, well, here's the end of the inning. Currently standing at the plate. Oh, he's, he's had a good swing, but it's not enough. Yeah, I can't fault him for that one. That was a good swing. Um, anyway, uh, uh, leaving two runners on base is far from ideal, but at the end of three, bulldozer power up three to nothing. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's going adequately. Back round to the top of the order for the beekeepers and uh, Igor Wingnut is back around for another go. We'll throw him something different this time. See how he likes this. Stray one. Yeah. You right, Bubbles? Yeah, she's good. Bubbles is good to go. She's uh, she's shaking that one off. And uh, pitch two. That one's going to go as far as Cindy who throws to first. Keep it up, team. This is this is what we like to see. Here's Demi John. Uh, what, what did I throw him last time? I think I threw him the the, the, uh, the cup cup finger business ball fast last time. We'll throw him something else. That's when they predict it. When you throw him exactly the same thing two times in a row. I've worked that out now. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a thing I've I've figured ish. All right, trying to change up. There it is. Third strikeout for Bubbly Merchandise. She is having the game of her life right now. Uh, here is Daphne Teflon, the only player on their team that we uh, are even remotely feared by. And that's because she will do things like that, and that will be their first hit of the day. Teflon there getting to first. All right, it's okay. There's nothing to be worried about. He's Shamrock Bubble Jet, and uh, he's uh, he's been a he's been a constant underperformer for them in this series. But he is a good player. I know he used to play for me. All right, stay calm there, Bubbles. Let's uh, let's put more away. Paypal, lovely job. Out number three. Well, they got a base hit, but nothing else. And Bulldozer Power maintain their lead as we go into the bottom of the fourth. And it's uh, Ulysses Failure who's uh, looking for that confidence boost. All right. Come on, then. Come on. Let's be having you. I'm ready for you. I'm feeling it. Failure with a big swing. It's not got the distance. And he's out of there. Okay. All right. Merchandise around once more. Uh, she's locked in. And, uh, and he's going to wait it out for two strikes. If they ever happen. That's it. There you go. You're supposed to pitch straight down the centre to a pitcher. All right. Two and two is the count. Bubbly merchandise with a nice swing. And she's gone. But uh, hey, I love it when a, when a pitcher swings for the fence. That makes me very happy indeed. Uh, here's, uh, here's Cindy Vapid. Okay. Swung a high one. She's going to go immediately. And, uh, well, that's, that one wraps that up entirely. Uh, out number three. And it is still three to nothing. Bulldozer power at the end of four innings. Uh, Bubbly merchandise has been incredibly efficient so far. So I can see her stretching for seven, maybe eight innings in total here if she manages to keep this up. Uh, although saying that, her stamina is already starting to wane. 35 pitches in. We do have relievers, though. We've got Mark Disneyland waiting in the wings to see if he can uh, break through when Bubbly's had enough. That's a big hit. Papal's at the fence. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Sammy Vacuum there. Uh, t taking uh, the beekeeper score off the, uh, off the dead zone. Oh, well, yeah, there it is. And, uh, yeah, well, I mean, there was, a, there was no one else on base. Uh, and maybe my, uh, my prediction there about uh, Bubbly not being uh, too tired. Maybe I'm wrong. That was a nice piece of fielding there. Uh, Kojak slowing it down in order for Cindy to throw to first. And that's another out. Well, it's a, an out, one might say. Uh, here's zero heat. Bad pitch. All right, try again. Have another, have another go. Good pitch. There you are. All right. And uh, another good pitch. That one's gone foul. Okay, right. Something zesty just to break it up here at the uh, at the final move. Yep. Uh, something like that. Not quite. All right. Something like this. That could work. 
Cindy's not going to get there, and that's going to be uh, another runner on base. All right. Well, okay. This is uh, it's sticky. It's uh, his uh, his swash on set. Who's who's going to have a go? We've got a runner on first, and we need to we need to play well here. Failure and better get to that, or else. Okay. All right. Well, we knew we didn't have much of a cushion. We also knew that we were going to concede runs. This is nothing, uh, nothing unsurprising at this time. Uh, so uh, let's let's try uh, one of these. There we go. Doesn't look like we did enough damage, but uh, we are bulldozers of power, and we are prepared to uh, to win this. In whatever way necessary. Bubbly Merchandise is leaving us now. Mark Disneyland is going to come in and relieve. Uh, Bubbly's uh, had enough for one day. Now, I, I may end up regretting having uh, having given up a free base there. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, you're going to throw it. There you go. Yeah, there's still, there's still play happening. All right, there we go. All right, here's Demijohn. 0 for 2. That's ball one. All right, okay. Ball Another ball in. Uh, he's, uh, come on, Disneyland. You've been wounded forever. We need you to perform. Nice piece of fielding from Event Horizon. And that's the side of Tired. All right, okay. All right, well, three to three uh, in the fifth inning. And, uh, and Kojak is up. Number 22. We'll see. Looks like we didn't do any damage to uh, to Swiss Lagoon, unfortunately. I would have thought a good uh, a good solid thwap in the hip would be enough to uh, to make her reconsider her career, but apparently not. Kojak now just sort of swiping at things. Ball one, two strikes. Okay, all right. Well, look, I've, I'm going to keep. You can keep throwing at these all day. I'm not too fussed. And Kojak there waits for, I mean, up to seven pitches for uh, for Kojak Mistron to get a base hit. Uh, this is largely why she's up the front of the order. Um, and uh, and here comes Zoltan attempting to, uh, to, to keep the dream alive. Another run or two out of this inning would be very promising. You, your dreams. No way was that a strike. There's some savage curvery going on on these pitches. Zoltan hasn't put enough on that, though. And that's out number one. Zoltan just not making it happen. Uh, his Papal Event Horizon. Well, if there were going to be some kind of revenge-based hit-a-batter with the ball, it's Papal who tends to be the recipient. And he swung at a high on it just. I do not Adam and Eve it. All right, out number two. All right, here we go. This uh, Hatchet Malibu. Hatchet has uh, has helped the team so far today, and that's that's good. Takes no time to make the hit there, and that uh, that will run up uh, first and second for us. Uh, this will bring a Furious Sponge Bath up to the plate, and we need a run. A run would be good, but we're not going to get it. Out number three, Furious. There, wait, going with the first one. And it's just not happening. So at the end of five, we're all square. And the tension is piling on. Here's Daphne Teflon. She frightens us. And uh, possibly possibly with good cause, because uh, she is their best hitter. Or at least she's been their best hitter and consistent too against us throughout the playoffs. So uh, we're going to have to you know, treat her with the respect she so richly. That's not bad. Furious. Can't quite get to it. And Teflon will take her base. Alright. Bubble Jet. 0 for 2 so far today. Let's see how he can do against Disneyland. Alright. Okay. We'll take that. Thank you. Gifted an out there from Shamrock Bubble Jet. And uh, Sammy Vacuum had a home run with his last at bat. Opening the scoring uh, for the team. Uh, we'll see if we can't uh, dispatch him this time. There it is. Yeah, fell for the change-up. Sucker. 
Right. Now for some of these other pitches that we do. We do other pitches, you know. Uh, two strikes now. One out here in the sixth inning. Got Furious. No, no, he's never going to catch that. Okay, that's all right. That's strike two. Come on, Mark. Put him away. That could be okay. And it's strike three. Disneyland gets a strike out. That's two outs now. Hopefully we don't uh, we don't give anything up. Uh, and uh, is Lamar night shift? Strike one. Okay. All right. Yep. That's nice. Don't mind that at all. That one's gone foul. Something along these lines. Oh, didn't didn't quite work. All right. Try something along these lines. There it is. Suckered by the change up. Oh, and then you broke your kneecap on your back because you were trying to be a hero. All right, we managed to put them away, so we've uh, we've conceded nothing else. And uh, bulldozer power, they need to need to reassert some kind of uh, offensive performance on this game because otherwise it could get away from them. Julius flipping hardware. Thirty-fifth pitch that from Swiss Legume. No, it wasn't. That one definitely wasn't. No. Um, no, I would have waited. I, 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 I could have waited. Should have waited. Didn't wait. His failure. He's 0 for 2 so far today. His batting average has dropped below 300. And, uh, well, he's in the doldrums, friends. He's, uh, he's just not playing the way that uh, we would expect the team captain to perform. He, he just isn't. Oh, come on. I mean, look. Put some mustard on it if you're going to hit it at all. Uh, here's Disneyland. Right. Step away from the control. All right. There we go. All right. There we are. No hurry. There's strike one. There's strike two. Okay. We're back in the room. Not on that one, you don't. Disneyland has a go. He might actually do it. He might actually do it. He doesn't do it. Mark Disneyland, if he ran any slower, insert joke. Yeah, there you go. And uh, uh, it's just it's tense stuff as we go in at seven. And, uh, well, we're, we're, we're facing off against zero heat. Uh, batting 500 today. Uh, not, the, not the biggest threat on the team. But uh, anyone, anyone can hit a good pitch. Over the, you know, all over the business. Well, Zero Heat's gone there on a run out to first. Not a problem. Uh, the other home run hitter now, Soissant Sept, is up to uh, something. They, uh, I mean, take part in a KISS reenactment group, potentially. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it's going. Kojak can't quite reach it. That's gone awkward. This could be a double. They're going for it, and they're probably going to get it. Failure hasn't quite got the arm to rocket that one in there, and that's given up a double for the first time today. Uh, here's Swiss Legume again. She's been substituted. Good. Mary Ruthless is coming in. Uh, they're going to hope to. They're going to try and capitalise on the fact that they've got a runner halfway around the pitch. Uh, hatchet come on, gets to it. Lovely job. Advanced the runner to third, but we did get the out. So we've got to take wing nut here at the plate, ideally, or off a catch, or, you know, similar. One of those type of things. Uh, and that will be solidly good. Let's try one. Nothing clever, Disney. Just, just do it. Just do it. All right. Okay, here we go. You don't even want to save your sinker? No, I'm going to use it. And that's given up another run. That's not what we wanted to see at all. Wingnut uh, manages to get uh, off the uh, off the starting grid there, and uh, and he's he's batted a run in. Here's Demijohn. Let's try one. Yeah, what do we like? Do the same again. All right. Trying to be unpredictable. That means doing things that people can't predict. Failure should have that, and that's out number three, but Bulldozer Power go behind for the first time today. They're bringing Carol Flourish in, who is a heck of a pitcher. Don't forget, the beekeepers are largely where they are this season because of their defensive prowess. And uh, as you can see from their, their pitching talent, they have some. 
Cindy doesn't wait. Cindy gets out. You can soak up the first one. You can you can just you can soak it up. It felt good though. Look, it felt I want you know, you never know when you're gonna see another good pitch. Alright, here's Kojak. Let's calm this down. Yeah. Alright. See that, for example, should have just given that an absolute brain in over the fence. That one, however, is not going to be brained over the fence. No, that one's going to be caught by Sammy Vacuum in centre field. And we're waiting on Zoltan to hopefully do something here. Oh, Zoltan, you swung too early, man. Again with Zoltan. Zoltan, again, with a disappointing hit. He's a power hitter and he just hasn't put anything on it. Not a thing. Just nothing. Nothing has gone that way properly rightly at all uh they're gonna have to make a substitution no they're not they already did they put, brought in a good pitcher oh we're pitching again yeah that was your at bats there and you completely miserably failed okay thanks good confidence booster there there's only one run in it but uh if you were judging by the flow of traffic you would say that this is all going in the direction of the beekeepers at the moment uh, although that was Teflon there getting run out to first. Here's Bubble Jets. Alright, okay, yeah. You've just gotta you've gotta stick to the fundamentals, just do the stuff that you know sort of works some of the time. And then uh, and then if it works this time, then we're all good. Disneyland starting to show a few sm sh short, small signs of fatigue. That one's gone Skyward. Hardware is chasing underneath it. Out number two. Good. Now batting, the fielder, All right. 12. Okay. Here we go. Sammy Vacuum has a home run today. Well, Disneyland is uh, he's, he's doing okay so far in this inning. And we're, we're hopefully going to see him continue to do that. Thank you. Go away. All right. One run, please. Two would be nicer. One will do. It's Paypal Event Horizon. Well, he's the kind of player that will uh, that will deliver to us in these situations. Demi John is out. They're bringing Tiffany Hoover back in. All right. Okay. That's ball one. Paypal Event Horizon. Ball two. Oh, pff, that looked legit to me. That's ball three. None of these have looked uh, particularly outside the box. And, uh, well, okay, Papal gets a walk. Would have liked something a little better than that, but uh, but Papal getting a walk is a good place to be. Uh, Hatch hits up. Two for two today. Good for her. Um, but uh, she's, not been, uh, she's not been the best. But neither has she been the worst. Carol Flourish having some difficulty finding the strike zone. I don't mind. No, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable about that. But we're not biting on anything at the moment. And that's another walk. Loading up one and two. No out so far is Furious Spongebuff. Two butt runs battered in for him. He's, uh, he's helped us keep the score going. And that one apparently is a strike. I don't even know what's happening. All right. This, the strike zone is all over the shot, clearly. There's ball one. That's a bit too high. That's no, okay, you fouled it out. Fouling out so perfectly acceptable. Furious has caused trouble. But we have got a runner on thirds. Okay. Alright. Force the Julius Hardware not to get everybody out. But he shouldn't do. I mean, traditionally he only gets himself out, but uh, he will uh, he, he has got a every opportunity to get everyone out. Alright, spool two. Straight one. That's not a bad hit from Hardware. I, I, I tried to... No, no, back. No, you missed your chart. Jump, jump. And now. Okay, we've got to run off. Uh, tagged. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was encouraging the runner to run, and then they decided to run when it was far too late for him to have any chance at all to get on base. So, uh, I'm, I'm blaming the devices for that one. Failure there, Luke. The composure completely gone. Failure gets out cheaply while we still had a player on the on base. 
we've tied it up but here we are in nine and uh this is <laughs> oh dear oh uh thrown it away thrown it away should have should have uh, put a cork in that one his night shift he's rattled he's wounded by the looks of it i think they might take him out they're not taking him out oh okay all right well we don't need to do anything too clever here he's uh, he's a mess all right yeah just he's he's completely he's a shambles cindy thank you okay zero heat is back round again one of three and uh well they is we we're not going to count any chickens strike one all right good popped up hardware out two and uh, that will bring up Soissons set the home run hitter he's two of three so far today uh, now I would be tempted to walk him but I am not going to walk him we will try and take him um, yeah yeah we're not walking this clown no chance because uh, anybody could be up next you never know it could be anyone that's ball one come on Mark stick to your stick to your fundamentals man that's good it's gone to Kojak. Nice and clean. Out number three. Okay. Bulldozer power can walk this one. It's, uh, here we go. And it is Disneyland up first. And uh, in the crowd, we hear the shouts of crampons. 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 And, and that's exactly what we're going to do because uh, we love the crampon story. Uh, he does one thing, and he does it very, very nicely when he does it, if he can be bothered, ever. And that is, uh, he hits it really, really hard, but that's all he does. He does actually have to hit it to start with. The cra team crampons are uh, are all over this. Bottom of the, well, yeah, if we're into the bottom of the ninth, one run will uh, will give us the championship. Uh, well, it's uh, it's that time. Crampons. Is waiting for his pitch. All right. Okay. That's All right. It's a good hit. It's a good. It's going foul. Not quite. Not quite the distance, but a nice hit nonetheless. Two and two is the count. Full count now for Bernie Crampons. And he's popped it up. He's gone. It's not happening. It's not happening. Out number one. Okay, well, Cindy's in. She's had a walk so far today and nothing else. Cindy goes straight away, forces an error from the defender and manages to make her way to first base. Uh, here's Kojak, Mr. On. If ever there were a time for me to learn how to steal, now is not the one. Kojak, Mr. On, uh, highly confident. And uh, waiting for a pitch that feels lively. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not trying, not today. What is, why, why would you swing at that? Two strikes now for Kojak. Oh, God, that was close. There's a pitch out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Kojak puts it up the centre. That's good. All right, runners now first and second. Could still be out off one play, though. Could, could still be out off one play, and we're depending on Zoltan, Zoltan to make it happen. Well, that's not necessarily who you would choose to be at bat right now, but he, uh, as long as he doesn't get a double play off this, it's all still there, waiting, coiled like a viper. Ball one. Sultan shown patience. And he finally gets a hit. Is it going to be good enough? We're going for it all. It's good enough. The very first championship for Bulldozer Power, and well, it's got a special animation that I've never seen. We had some chatter earlier on about why, why is uh, why is Zoltan Zoltan still on the team, and it's because he could pull this off. They're throwing Hatchet Malibu in the air. Zoltan can't believe it. He's uh, he's over the moon. He's having a there's Des Eyeliner look. 
Uh, he's, he's, he's so confident. Uh, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, Failure has been relegated to the outside edge there because uh, obviously he doesn't deserve anything at all. Uh, put your hands up there, people. It's uh, it's all it's all good stuff. And uh, Bulldozer Power have won the Electro Sports Super Mega Baseball Championship. We didn't think that we were going to see this happen, but we have just seen this happen. The crowd going wild with wild with all kinds of stroboscopic uh, technology there, and uh, well, we don't believe it. I I believe it. I'm hoping that you believe it too. That was that was exactly the level of tension that I was hoping for out of this game. An extra inning wouldn't have hurt, of course. Uh, we didn't get to see Cattle Prod. He was he was going to be making a show uh, next, but the uh, there's going to be a shake up in the off season, friends. Uh, a shake up in the off season. Uh, I'm going to mix. I'm mixing the teams up. We've got expansion teams coming in, and uh, and one of the things that will be happening is that uh, based on their position at the end of this season, well, each team's going to have to give up some players, including the bulldozer power. Uh, so we'll be we'll be having to give up some star players. Other teams will give up lesser players, and then there will be a draft of those players to get them back onto new teams and uh, if you are in the fail brigade you can head over to Electro Sports now and take control of the draft process for one of the teams uh, it's not the first walk off for BDP we've had a walk off win before um, but uh, but this is the first the first championship that we've won uh, get Bam Bam back on the team well we'll have to, we'll have to see how it goes if, if Bam Bam's available Obviously, should be should be welcome back, but uh, but we'll see we'll see how it goes. Uh, and the fireworks are going off in the chat there. It's all it's all very very good indeed. Here's some here's some numbers. Not a good day for quite a few of our players. Uh, failure entirely entirely useless today. Uh, he fielded all right, but uh, got to see more. Got to see more from the big man because uh, he's he's not been delivering in the slightest no, just no he hasn't he hasn't been delivered uh, the number of walks was quite surprising and that certainly that certainly helped uh, is it going to be a live stream draft no but what I'll do is I'll do a live stream draft review of the players moving around uh, because the, the draft is going to be asymmetrical uh, asynchronous even uh, whereby it could take three weeks to get through like the four or five rounds of the draft that's going to happen um, but, uh, but there we go. We, what we will be looking for, though, is a pitcher. Most definitely, we need another pitcher. It would be nice to be able to win some of these without having to rely on just powering it over. And we'll probably up the uh, up the difficulty a little bit as well. Mark Disneyland awarded the win there, and uh, five strikeouts. Nice to see. Like, you like to see five strikeouts. They threw six walks. Your star players, Vlad Swass on set. I think he earned it. He, he did score quite nicely. Hatchet Malibu uh, coming good when we needed the most, and Mark Disneyland your third star of the day. I'm going to press the I'm going to press the button now, and I don't know what's about to happen. I just don't know. I mean, loading screen obviously, but after that, I don't know. I've won the league championship. Now, I mean, I'd I'd have put maybe a little bit more effort into that particular slide-in screen, but hey, that's all right. Uh, and there we go. Bulldozer Power got it done. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, they got it done. And uh, yeah, no, oh, there it is. Uh, well, let's have a look at the leaders throughout the playoffs. Uh, Margot Spatula is the overall number one, but uh, they're using such a convoluted scoring system there. Batting average, average of 6.25 for Margot Spatula for, who's that? Stardozer. Uh, alongside <clears throat> Party Boy. Um, they lead the way on batting average, but Furious, Kojak, Cindy, Zoltan. Are right there alongside over 400. Marie Claire Magazine, not bad at all there for the uh, Erg Mail and Flex Chroniclers. No, that's the uh, Ob City Axemen. They need an axe in their logo. I might need to do a bit of logo work as well. Uh, and Pete Black Fox is, uh, is there as well. Uh, for home runs, well, four players overall made it to three home runs throughout the playoffs. Kojak, Furious, Jackson Clowcar, and Pete Black Fox doing quite nicely for themselves. There. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good, and uh, and then moving on, 
uh, batting number two on base average, uh, on base percentage rather is uh, is Spatula Party Boy. Uh, slugging percentage, you've got uh, Spatula Black Fox with Party Boy. We're seeing the same names come round again and again. Horatio Gunship there in the middle. Uh, on base average plus slugging, it's the same people again in a slightly different order. When it comes to the third stage of batting, Kojak Mistron leads the league for hits, but obviously uh, the Stardozer Human Resources team were put out in the semis, so uh, so they never got the opportunity to compete at this level, and they'll be, they'll be destitute uh, as a result of that. Uh, for st Struck out, Lamar Night Shift, Vlad Soissons Sep, Sammy Vacuum, Daphne Teflon, Shamrock Bubble Jet, all beekeepers all the way, but again, they played a lot of games, and the beekeepers were never renowned for their uh, for their offensive power. They were a very defensive team, and they 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 made a real game of it. Uh, for runs scored, Cindy Furious Papal loving it. Uh, Zoltan Kojak and failure is in there uh, with five runs batted in. So that's uh, you know uh, anything else wins. Des Eyeliner, a god amongst men. Uh, he should be the league MVP, frankly. Should should be the league MVP. Uh, you can bet we'll see Des Eyeliner next time around. It's almost like we're going Professor Who. He's he just doesn't register anymore. Uh, the, the the Eyeliner fans are thick here in the uh, the Bulldozer Power home destination venue. Uh, moving on, uh, then you've got uh, Whip. We like that. That's good. There's lots of people with some Whip going on there, and that's that's great. People keep telling me what that means, and I go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then I forget. Someone in the chat will do it in a moment, and I'll go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'll forget. Uh, for strikeouts, Picasso middle eight for the beekeepers. I don't think we actually faced off against him, thankfully. Uh, and rock hands also for the beekeepers. We didn't, I don't think we... I know we faced rock hands in game one. Um, but uh, Des Island, Jeff Conservative, Bubbly Merchandise uh, also registering. Uh, strikeouts in nine, you're looking at Tulip Banter, Ominous Bob, and Jeff Conservative doing a good job. Uh, but it's middle eight who, uh, who really does look, really does look very, very good. Um, and uh, then you've got some walks. Yeah, we don't really throw walks very often, but we do throw them. And uh, there you go, your top ten players. Uh, four, five uh, Bulldozer Power players have, uh, have made it into the top ten. Justifiably, I'd say, given that we won the whole thing. <laughs> Good. There it is. Well, that's it. Uh, I, I was I was half anticipating that this one would go on longer, but it has not gone on longer. I've been Colonel Failure. The season will return as soon as the draft has been conducted, and there'll be a special uh, special draft special uh, in between seasons to let you know how that's going. But stay tuned to Electro Sports because we've got new stuff that is coming soon, and this is one of those things. So if you are in the Fail Brigade, stay tuned because we're going to be running the test season pretty soon and uh, and you're going to you're gonna want to have a go at that one, uh, probably. You might not know what's going on, but you won't know what's going on after you've given it a go either. Um, but it also coming up soon, uh, the Electro Sports Football League uh, will be running a weekly catch-up show uh, for the upcoming season. And, uh, and there is going to be another new series starting soon on the channel. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're just going to have to wait and see. So if you haven't yet pressed the button that subscribes you to the channel, press the button that subscribes you to the channel. Thane commands it. I've been Colonel Failure. Thanks very much for watching. And, uh, and cheerio. Hold on, press the button. There we go. Ah, oh, solid skills there.